And more ahead, but first at six, he has a history of being disruptive in the courtroom, and today was no exception. Glenn Dukes is facing capital murder charges for the murder of a woman back in 2012. During his trial last year on human trafficking charges, which ended with him getting two life sentences, he failed to follow courtroom decorum. Paul Venema reports that today he caused another long delay as his capital murder trial began. The jury was seated, then excused, as Glenn Duke shouted his objection to his attorney entering a plea on his behalf. He tried to fire his attorney, motion denied. He asked that presiding judge Ron Runhell be recused, then left the courtroom. That request was forwarded to administrative judge David Peoples. Judge Peoples has instructed the court that he is denying this motion. Written orders will be sent um, later on in the week. Let's go ahead and bring the defendant in. Dukes returned briefly, only to hear his lawyer ask to withdraw from the case. That request denied. Dukes left the courtroom again, and opening arguments began. Prosecutors told how 24-year-old Jacqueline Johnson was suffocated with a plastic bag in June of 2012, then set on fire. He said she had been in and out of prostitution. Dukes, according to his earlier trial, was a pimp in what was described as a dark underworld. And when I'm talking about this underworld and this darkness, I'm not talking about an abstract thing. I'm talking about Glenn Dukes, because he was the one that brought all this. And ultimately, he's the one that murdered her. Though Dukes is on trial for capital murder, the state is not seeking the death penalty. Since Dukes left voluntarily, he's free to return at any time. But for now, it's a serious case, capital murder, with an empty chair at the defense table. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.